this video, I just want to kind of talk about how you can identify if you either have a 4.8 or a 5.3 engine. It can be kind of confusing because the block, uh, it's stamped 4.8 and 5.3 since they do share the same block. It can be really hard to kind of separate the two and know what you have. And um, of course, the easiest way to tell what you have is if it's a um, uh, engine true to the chassis, if it hasn't been swapped, of course, they're getting so old now that they're mix and match and swapped over and junkyard motors and all this. But hopefully, if you're looking at a truck and has a factory engine, these are going to be some really good ways to tell what you have for sure. I'm going to kind of start with easiest. The easiest way to tell what you have to kind of the hardest way to tell what you have. And uh, I think the easiest way is going to be check the VIN number. And that's, I'm going to say that's the easiest way. It's because you don't even have to open the door. You don't even have to pop the hood. Just look at the VIN number that's on the windshield. It's on the driver's side um, up by the cowl. Um, and then you're looking at the eighth digit. If the eighth digit is a V, the V is for 4.8. If the eighth digit is a T, the T is going to be for a 5.3 liter. And um, there are a lot of different kinds of 5.3 liters. Uh, in this video, we're just talking generation three. 99 to 2007 classic from 07 on up uh, generation four there's a lot more different variants um but yeah that's the easiest way because you don't actually have to get in the truck just look at the vin number uh v 4.8 t is 5.3 um the second easiest way to tell the difference is going to be to pop the hood and look at the air box because if, if the truck's actually kind of clean and maintained, it should have a sticker on the air box that will actually tell you what size engine it has, 4.8 or 5.3, just look right there on top of the air filter, and they'll actually tell you on the sticker. Um, that's the second easiest way, because you actually have to get in there and pop the hood. Um, so let's see here, the, the next, the third way to tell is gonna be what's called RPO codes. And they're just kind of codes that GM assigns uh, their chassis and uh, during the production, they, they give a code to a package that they equip a vehicle or a truck with. And um, so the RPO code for 4.8, well, before I give you the codes, uh, they're located in the glove box. Just open the glove box. I'm sure you've noticed a sticker there. That's going to have a lot of codes. It's going to look like gibberish, but these codes actually represent something that your truck is equipped with. And the, the RPO code for 4.8 is going to be LR4, and that's the only RPO code assigned for a 4.8 for the Generation 3, 99 to 07. That's the only code. But for 5.3s, there's like four different variants of 5.3. The, the most common RPO code for 5.3 is the LM7. That's the most common 5.3 found in uh, Generation 3 equipped vehicles. It's just your standard iron block, aluminum head, uh, non-flex fuel, uh, just basic 5.3 that you can find in just about everything. Uh, the, the second RPO code is gonna be L59. And the L59 5.3 is the same thing as the LM7, except it uh, offers flex fuel capability. Uh, that means different injectors, maybe different fuel pump. I'm not sure exactly. I just know it's basically a flex fuel version of the LM7. The third variant of the 5.3 is going to be the LM4. This variant is going to be an aluminum block, aluminum head, and I believe uh, also flex fuel. Um, yeah, I think that's only did. Last but not least, it's the fourth RPO code for a 5.3 liter. And this is considered like the, the high output. I think it put out the most power of all generation three 5.3s, you know, before 2007, uh, the new, new body style. And the code for this uh, 5.3 is L33. Like I said, they didn't start, it's like they, they started putting them in the trucks towards the end of the of that body style, like 2006, 2007. Um, and what sets the L33 apart from the rest of them is it has the flat top pistons from the 4.8s. And what this does is it ups the compression ratio to 10 to one versus nine five to one. And it also uses the 799 heads, which is the equivalent of the, um, 243 heads using the in the Z06s is what they originally came out on, except they don't have the sodium filled uh, valves and the uh, valve springs of the LS6. Um, but yeah, that's that's all the there's four variants of the 53.
So all these ways are only true if the engine is true to the chassis. Like I said, uh, if it's been swapped, it can be very, very hard to know exactly what you have because when you just look at the blocks, they look identical. The only difference from the 4.8 and the 5.3 is the crankshaft, the connecting rods, and the pistons. So what that means is externally, there's no way to know exactly what you have. You actually have to be able to take a peek inside, maybe with the bore scope, uh, you know, take a spark plug, maybe look at the piston, because you clearly be able to see the dish of a 5.3. Here's a, a 5.3 piston, I'll get a close-up of this, but uh, from 99 to 07, all 5.3s had a dish piston, except for the L33. But the L33 had an aluminum block, so you cannot confuse that. There was not an aluminum block version of a 4.8s. All the aluminum block generation threes were 5.3s. But unfortunately, I think that's the only way of really knowing if you have a 4.8 or 5.3 is, like I said, uh, take out a spark plug and try to peek inside the chamber and um, try to see if you have a dish piston or a flat top. Because the 4.8s have flat tops and the 5.3s have dish, for the exception of the L33, of course, the high output with the flat top, higher compression pistons. But yeah, those are pretty much uh, a couple different ways to tell what you have, 4.8 or 5.3. Uh, hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. Thanks for watching.